Hello fellow citizens, it's Joni here from Hanger Ready, back with another deep dive into the expansive universe of Star Citizen. Today, we're going to tackle one of the most thrilling aspects of the game, bunker missions. We're not just skimming the surface, we're going in depth, covering everything from the essential gear, the best strategies, and even the pitfalls you should avoid. So buckle up and let's get started. Before we jump into the action, let's talk about the basics. Your armor and your equipment are your lifelines in these missions. I recommend going for light to medium armor with a backpack. You might be tempted to go for the heavy armor, thinking it'll offer more protection, but here's the catch. It slows you down significantly, and in a fast-paced mission, speed is of the essence. The extra protection it offers doesn't quite make up for the loss in speed. Next up, we have the med pens and cruise drinks. These are non-negotiables. Cruise drinks are particularly handy because they take care of both food and thirst at the same time, saving you valuable backpack space. You'll also need a multi-tool with a tractor beam and a med gun. Keep the med gun and multi-tool inside your armor until you need it. It's all about being prepared for any situation. Now, let's talk firepower. I'd recommend a P4 or a Custodian. These are reliable, versatile, and pack a punch. But remember, it's not just about the weapon itself, but also how you customize it. Put a silencer on the gun to keep your movement stealthy and add a two or three times red dot style scope for precision. And here's a pro tip, always carry a pistol like the arc light with a spare magazine. If things go sideways, it's quicker to pull your pistol than it is to reload your rifle. While we're on the topic of weapons, there are a few things you should avoid. Sniper rifles might seem like a good idea, but they're not ideal for bunker missions. You need to get too close to the enemy, negating the advantage of a sniper rifle. And shotguns, while powerful, can be very risky. The spread can end up hitting friendlies, and the last thing you want is a crime stat. Finally, let's talk about your ride. The ship you take will depend on whether you're planning to engage with turrets. A small ship like the Pisces C8 is a great choice if your bunker missions don't have hostile turrets. Otherwise, you'll be forced to make a long walk in and out. But the C8 does have its perks. It allows you to carry a one or two SCU box. If you're planning a mission with a couple of buddies, then the Cutlass Black is your go-to. It's easy to land and can carry a small vehicle like an STV. However, moving a cargo crate of distance isn't an option with this ship. On the other hand, if you're part of a larger crew and need a ship that can destroy turrets and carry an Ursa rover, the MSR is your best bet. It's a beast of a ship that can handle just about anything. Now that we've got the gear sorted, let's dive into the mission itself. Bunker missions are all about building security reputation. Each planetary system has its own security organization. Hurston has Hurston Security. Crusader has Crusader Security. Art Corp has Blackjack. And Microtech has MT Protection Services. These organizations are your ticket to more lucrative and challenging missions. Choosing the right mission is crucial. They'll be listed under Mercenary and will show who they build rep with in the From section of the mission dossier. Remember, you build up your reputation for a given planetary security division only within that planetary system. Delphi, the Moby Glass app to the far right, is your reputation tracker. Your reputation increases incrementally with each bunker mission completed unlocking new and more challenging missions. The first few levels of reputation move quickly, but as you progress, it becomes a little more challenging. Level four in particular takes a while, but don't worry, it's worth the effort. 
Also, don't forget the call to arms for the extra 500 UEC per kill. And make sure you get this after getting the main mission so that the main mission will get automatically tracked. Otherwise, you'll have to go back into your Moby Glass to the accepted missions and track the main mission. All right, now we're ready to clear the bunker. While it's possible to do these things alone, it's always better and safer with a friend. As you approach the bunker, make a quick flyby to confirm if the turrets are hostile or not. Some bunkers may be hostile and you'll need to make a decision. Destroy the turrets or land 2.5 kilometers away. If you choose the latter, a ground vehicle can speed up getting to and from the bunker. If the turrets aren't hostile, land as close to the entrance of the bunker as possible. After you land, it's time to gear up. Pull out your weapon and head inside where there will be a large elevator going down. Once you're down, exit the elevator. You'll find yourself in a maze of corridors and rooms. Use cover whenever possible. It can be the difference between life and death. Some bunkers will have friendlies. They should have a marker over their head, but be careful, sometimes they don't. Avoiding friendly fire is crucial. Accidentally killing a friendly will get you a crime stat, and that's a situation you want to avoid. On your screen, you'll see the number of enemies you have left to kill. This is where your silenced weapon comes into play. With a silencer, you can navigate the bunker without alerting all the enemies at once. A silencer reduces the range at which it will alert the bad guys, but it doesn't completely eliminate their reaction. So move carefully and aim for headshots whenever possible. Clear the level you're on first and then find the stairs that go to the other levels and clear the rest. Now, once all the enemies are down, a trespassing timer will start. This is your window to look for loot boxes and pick up some weapons. You can carry up to three weapons at once. If you want to take more, then put some guns on the elevator and load them into your ship. If you brought a one or two SEU crate with you, this will allow you to pick up even more armor and weapons in a single trip. Once you are satisfied with the loot, or if the timer is running out, then head up the elevator and load your ship and take off. But remember to give yourself enough time to get back to your ship. And there you have it. You've successfully completed a bunker mission. If you're up for it, you can take another mission and do it all again. With the right strategy and a bit of practice, you can do about four to five missions in an hour. Bunker missions are a fantastic way to build a reputation, earn rewards, and experience some thrilling combat. But remember, preparation is key. With the right gear, the right ship, and the right strategy, you'll be clearing those bunkers in no time. And that's it for today's guide on bunker missions in Star Citizen. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, keep flying, and I'll see you around the burst.